This is the power room of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. Where the power of God is made manifest through the servant of God Apostle John Chi to bring healing, deliverance and salvation. To know God's presence is to know God's power. When the power of God is present, healing deliverance and all of God's blessings are available. Here is Mr. Agba Jephthu amongst others who have come for prayers, receiving deliverance in the power of the Holy Ghost. The light of God is going through the servant of God Apostle John Chi to dispel all shades of darkness in the life of Mr. Agba Jephtha. He is set free in the name of Jesus Christ. After Mr. Agba Jephtha's encounter with Jesus Christ in the power room, through the man of God Apostle John Chi. Let's watch what happened the next day during the consultation with the servant of God Apostle John Chi in his office. Okay, of this. So you wait for me? Come. So you wait for me? Okay. Come, sir. Come, sir. So, you have received prayer now, but are you ready to surrender those things you were worshipping before? I'm because ready, you are sir. A witch doctor. I'm ready, sir. I'm a herbalist. They are too heavy for me, sir. I've been suffering of this thing for many years, sir. Help me, sir. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, sir. Help me, sir. So, are you ready to surrender those I'm things? I'm ready to surrender them, sir. I'm ready. They are heavy for me, sir. I do not sleep. Day and night, I do not sleep. These things have been tormenting me throughout my whole life, sir. Help me. Help okay. me, sir. Stand up. So Every I will, man of I will God. send the evangelist to go there. You bring the things, we'll destroy it. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll be happy, sir. So Thank you, sir. Now that you have received prayer, you cannot continue to keep those things. Thank you, sir. Those things uh, you were worshipping before, now you have received prayer. Thank you, You cannot God. continue to keep them. Thank you, So God. you should be ready to surrender them now. And surrender your life to Christ. I will do so, sir. Don't let those things be destroyed. Amen. So, are you ready? I'm ready, sir. Okay. I'm ready, man of God. Okay. So, you wait for me. I will send the evangelist to go with you, bring the things, we we'll destroy them. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Okay. 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 You wait for me. After Mr. Agba Jephthah's encounter with the man of God Apostle John Chi in his office, revealing to him who he was. The man of God has now sent his team to follow him to his village. Let's watch what happened. Okay, how are you? You are ready to be going? Yes, sir. Okay. So, sir? Yes, so I, will, I told you I will send the evangelist, the team that will go there and you bring the charm, so we we'll destroy them. I believe you have been here for the past two weeks and I believe you have learned a lot and uh, you are ready for the journey with God. I'm very ready, sir. And I want to thank you for my long time being here. The family has been taking good care of me. They have been edifying me. Now I can pray very well. Now I have been edified by reading the word of God, so I'm happy, sir. I feel like I'm in heaven, sir. I'm so happy. Okay, so thank you very much. So we go now, bring the uh, charms, all those things, we'll destroy them. Yes, sir. So that you sir. can focus on your relationship with God and your salvation journey. Thank you, man of God. Okay, so I want to give you t shirt Out of God TV t shirt so this one, then you, then you go there, you wear it, then so we have living water too for you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. So when you go there, you spray it, spray it, you spray it in the name of Jesus Christ to destroy all those 
demonic powers before they bring the things. So when you go there, you pray, you read Psalm 91, you pray together, you pray together, and then spray the water in the name of Jesus Christ on those uh, things he was using. Spray, spray to neutralize the power, then uh, you can now bring it in the name of Jesus Christ. So all of you, as you are going, be in constant meditation in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, this is what should be going through your hearts, your mind, Okay, so I'm with you in prayer. So, okay. so you can go. You can go. Viewers all over the world, thank you for joining us in this great commission assigned by the servant of God Senior Apostle John Chi. Right now we are here in Banga Bakundu, a small village located in the southwest region of Cameroon, where we are coming with our brother who was delivered in the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry some few weeks back, Mr. Agbo Jephthah. We are right here in front of his house where he used to carry out his demonic activities when he was still in the kingdom of darkness. So after his deliverance, the servant of God, Senior Apostle John Chia has commissioned the team and he has led the team to this place to collect those demonic equipment, those demonic items which he used to use before his deliverance. So the man of God has sent him to lead the team here to come and bring the things to the Ark of God's covenant ministry where they will be destroyed. So join us and be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us. Viewers, we have just entered the house of Mr. Abbo Jephthah, the ex-wish doctor. We are here with the new living water sent by the servant of God, Senior Apostle John Chi from the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. We are going to use this living water to disarm the powers over these equipment that have been bundled here before he can untie them and present to us one after the other, the function of all this equipment. So we are going to use the living water in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, before he can untie them and present them to you. Stay tuned and be blessed in Jesus' name. My name is Agbo Jephtha Tatanyi Asho. I was, a, I was a mystical and traditional witch doctor. They used to call me Mandu Mandem, which means small Jesus. These are the things I used to do before my deliverance by the man of God, Apostle John Chi, in Act of God Covenant Ministry, Boya. So I want to explain how I used to use these things. This one like this, this one you see like this. 
is a catapult. This one, I used to use it when people consult me for revenge. Whether you are in Europe or any part of Africa, with the powers in this catapult, I'm able to hex you and fire you down wherever you are through the power of this catapult. I used to use but human bone as the bullet, as the cartridge in this catapult to shoot. I used to shoot not to a human body, but I used the sun in the daytime. If it is at night, I use but the moon to shoot with this catapult. This one, this is a controlling force. It's a cap we used to wear when we are out for operation clear the air to combat and fight against and expose witchcraft in any village that we go. If this cap enter my head, I become something different. I transform immediately. It's a cap of supremacy above witchcraft powers. This one is the Abbasinjan power. This one is totally supreme against witchcraft, to expose witchcraft. And if I put this cap on my head and I stop in any town or village, any city that I stop, know that witchcrafts are in problem. And anybody who dare to try me, this cap itself on my head have a bullet. If you want to focus anything on my body, immediately you will be affected. And once you are affected, there is no remedy. You must die. It carries fire. It carries a bullet. And it's a cap we used to use to... We can use it even to stroll around the village, around the cities, and attend even occasions. It is not too deadly, but it signifies that I am a king of witches and wizards. And it shows my supremacy as a king of witches and wizards. This one, whenever I want to go to any city or town, where I know it is deadly, I will either wear it beside me or I wear it before me. It acts as a defense. You cannot shoot me anything on my body. No witches or wizard can ever try to attempt when this thing is with me. It's a defense. This one does not carry any powers, but... It is a sign of kingship. It is a sign to show that I am a king wherever I stand. And it signifies that I, are either, I am either a king or a kingmaker. So it carries no power. It is just for this one goes alongside with this. They are equal. They are co-equal. They are one partners. This one you see here like this is very terrible. Is like Tene de Kumba. If I, it is on my body, it means I'm ready for war. I don't wear it carelessly. I only wear it when I'm going out to combat witchcraft, which is a wizard. This rod you see here like this. Is terrible. This is supreme. Wherever I don't walk with it carelessly, and no ordinary person, no ordinary human being can handle this rod, and you even live for one week. 
because it is delicate. You have to be somebody who is deeply initiated in it because the things, they have meaning. Only this feather is very lawful. One of these feathers, you cannot even handle it or work with it anyhow in any town or village carelessly. The witches and wizards or the traditional people there, they will be against you. So when you look at this rod like this, you will see a mirror. This mirror is magnetic. We have certain herbs that we use for transformation. When I want to handle this rod to fight against witches or wizards, we used to have leaves that I will squeeze them and drink. Immediately I drink that leaf, I have changed. I know more myself. I have become something different. Then I will drop it in my eyes. Then, whenever I look at this mirror, wherever in any city that I am, whether witchcraft hides anywhere, whether on top of a tree, whether on, under a river, I will see it in this mirror. Then I will now follow it where it is and catch it and expose it. Then whosoever is transforming in that witchcraft, I will catch the person too and expose the person. And we have powers that we blow on that person and the person will confess how he or she is manifesting. If you don't confess, you die. And even if you confess without us defending you, you have to still die because we have exposed and captured your witchcraft. There is Odish. This one here you see like this. It's here very small, but it carries this weapon you see here like this. It's Odeshi. It's a gun proof, machete proof. If I use this one and walk on somebody, you can even cut that person with a machete. It will not enter. You shoot that person with bullet. It will not enter. Physical bullet and spiritual bullet. This is Odeshi. This is the power of Odeshi. And this rod, this one you see here like this. These two brooms. After we have fight against witches and wizards, we use it now. One broom, half many. After we have exposed witches and wizards and we want to protect the village, it is like keeping the village now okay by removing these brooms. We'll move seven from here and seven from here. I will remove part of this from here. Then we'll prepare something like a protection. And we'll plant it somewhere with a dog. Order given to us by the chief because we cannot penetrate to any village without seeing the chief. The chief is the one to give us authorization to operate in any village that we want to enter to fight against witches and we start to expose witches. No, this one, you see here like this. If this one is like a bullet, but using this one, we have something that we put in, we place in our mouth. This one is for shooting. We use it whole like this. And I place it directly towards the direction where I want to destroy or to kill whosoever. <clears throat> if it is three people, with that, the power of that thing that is in my mouth, I will be calling the people by name and I'm doing my chanting and tones, telling them how many days or how many hours or how many months I have given them to die. Or if I want to afflict them with sickness, anything that I talk, focusing this road towards their direction, it will affect them instantly. If I say two days, it remains two days. If I say one day, it remains one day. If I say 24 hours, it's 24 hours. This is the power of this. Let me now put on the garment and show you how I used to sit on this chair.
So this is how I used to dress before in my temple, before I go out for mission. Before my deliverance, if I dress in this attire, know that I'm going for war and people will die in any city that I enter. Witches and wizards will die. But now, I have been delivered by the man of God, Apostle John Chi in Ark of God Ministry, Boya. So I have been free. I don't longer want to use this thing again. I have been assigned by him to come and bring these things, to tie them and bring in the Ark of God ministry to be destroyed. So I have the strong belief that since God has used the man of God to deliver me, he will still use him to destroy these things. Because from today, I don't want to be doing this destructive work again to kill people. I want now to win souls, but to Jesus Christ and to save souls in Jesus' name. So now, since the man of God has sent me to come and bundle them and bring them, so now I'm now tying them to carry them to the Ark of God ministry, boy, for them to be destroyed. So I know God will use the man of God, Apostle John Chi, to destroy these things because I could not destroy them by myself. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. I'm no more condemned. I'm free. No Thank you, Jesus. And by name, Obi John Ashu. I happen to be the quarter head of uh, the most prominent quarter in Banga Bakundu called the King Street, where the chief of the village, the palace of the village, happened to, to be. By the time I knew him, we were moving together, doing things. But after some arguments, many a times when I have my dreams, I come and tell him, and, and he, you know, Explain it to me and he, he support all what he says by using the Bible. But he got to a point where we had uh, much argument. <laughs> he said, my man, you don't know the person you are talking to. That's when he entered and showed me all what we have just seen. Then from there, I came to know the type of person I'm dealing with. He even went further to tell me the name which the, the whole of Manu, call him Small Jesus, a small God, and told me many things concerning many things that he had done in the spiritual world. I'm indeed very pleased because there's no other power which is above God. The power of God is the most superior. Is the most superior. And that's why all of us are striving, you know, to fighting for it, um, eternity with God of God's in the dead heavens. Thank you.
Mr. Agbo Jephtha, that time Asho. I was a mystical and traditional witch doctor. For 20 years now, I've been living in the both side of the world. I've been living in the physical, natural world and the spiritual. In the physical world, in traditional medicine, here in Moya, I was the vice faco president in Katramedo Cooperative Associations of medical and traditional doctors of Cameroon. In Bole Bakundu, where I was there as a zonal president, people in Bole, they know me there as Small Jesus. I was finally installed in Bonge Council Chamber as subdivisional president in the federations of associations of medical and traditional doctors of Cameroon, Penameca. Sa bouche contemple la gloire de ce que le Seigneur a fait dans sa vie et retourne toute la magnificence entière à l'éternel. Il nous dit qu'il est marabout et il pratique cela depuis 20 ans. Depuis fort longtemps, 20 ans, il vit des deux côtés du monde, dans le monde naturel et dans le monde spirituel. In Southwest region, I was regionally in charge of internal and external relations in Katramedoc. In the other world, I was a king married to a queen. I was a mystical transcender. It started from my childhood when I was five years old. For the first time, my grandfather wanted to see me. So my parents took me to Manfe Manu Division in our village to visit my grandfather. My grandfather was the president in Equa Society in the village, and he was the chief of Abasinjong. He was very fat and very old, and he was blind. I reached before him. He was touching me from my head to my toe. He touched me and called my name, Ta Tanyi Asho. He was calling the ancestors, the spirit of the ancestors, those that are dead. Because to us in Manulan, we believe that the dead are not dead. The dead are living. So he was now calling the spirit of the dead, that they should always be behind me wheresoever I'm going and they should be before me wheresoever I'm, I'm going to guide and protect me. Il nous dit que tout ce problème émane depuis 5 ans. Il dit que lorsqu'on l'a couché à l'âge de 5 ans, son papa l'a amené voir son grand-père à Manfé parce que son grand-père voulait tellement le voir. Lorsqu'il est arrivé là-bas, son grand-père, il nous dit qu'à ce moment, son grand-père était aveugle, il était tellement gros, son grand-père ne pouvait pas le voir. Mais son grand-père le touchait de la tête jusqu'à la plante de ses pieds. Et son grand-père a commencé à invoquer les esprits morts. Il se souvient très bien parce que son grand-père, en invoquant ces esprits morts, son grand-père était le leader des dieux traditionnels dans le virage. Et lorsque son grand-père invoquait ces esprits, il lui disait que devant lui, on va le diriger, derrière lui, on va le guider. What is Abasinjo? Abasinjo, the name speaks for himself. To us in Manuelan, the Abasinjo, we worship it like our own God. It's a God. Bien évidemment, chez les citateurs, il nous dit que Abba Senjo, c'est le dieu qu'ils adorent dans leur village. It's a god you people worship. Yes, it's an idol god. So, after my grandfather touched me from head to toe, he took me behind our house, on top of a stone. The stone, those stony areas were looking as a grave. So I stood on top of that stone. He placed a bangle on my hand. The brick coconut and throw the water on my head. And he was still talking the same thing that he talked while he was touching me. That was the beginning of my initiation 
in the physical world. Alors, il nous dit que lorsqu'il était encore avec son grand papa, son grand papa, bien qu'il était aveugle, le touchait de la tête jusqu'au plan de ses pieds. Il invoquait les esprits morts. Après, son grand papa l'a amené derrière la maison. Il y avait les pierres qui étaient comme en tombeau. Et de là aussi, son grand papa a invoqué les esprits morts. On a mis une chaîne sur sa main. On a cassé la noix de coco. On a versé cette eau sur sa tête. Il nous dit que c'était depuis lors le début de son initiation dans ce monde. I complete my primary school. I pass in Lisby, but my father did not send me to secondary school. So I was down for two years. I wasn't happy. So one cold day like that, one justice from Boya, he came to the camp where we were living, that they are looking for houseboys. I decided to tell that woman that I will follow you and work as a houseboy to you. And I was now working here in Boya to her in the house as a houseboy. So during that time in Boya, you know, I was the one in charge of the house. I hold a key in every room. So I'm the one taking care right to the bedroom of my master. So the library was there. I saw six and seven book of Moses. I saw D.H. Lawrence. Alors, chez tes spectateurs, il nous dit qu'après l'initiation, on peut le dit, avec son grand-papa, il est rentré à la maison, qui était ici à Boya, qui était à la recherche d'un domestique. Ils sont, cette femme est venue chez eux. Et là, elle a pris comme domestique. Ils vivaient ici à Boya. Ils travaillaient chez cette femme juge comme domestique. Et lorsqu'il vivait dans cette maison, il attendait les noms des grands livres célèbres. Il attendait les noms comme les sept livres de Moïse. Il les regardait dans cette librairie. Il a vu un de ces livres célèbres. Anytime I sleep, I will see myself in the forest walking for somebody. The same as my grandfather. The same structure. And this man too was blind, but always tying, but a sanja. That is how I was always living this physical world and live but in the forest, walking for my grandfather. Il nous dit davantage que lorsqu'il était domestique dans cette maison à l'âge adolescent, il voyait constamment des songes dans lesquels il était dans une forêt, il travaillait pour un marabout. Because of the names I've been hearing concerning this book, one day I was attracted to take one of these books, D.H. Lawrence. I take the other one, Chapters of Life. Why reading this book like this? I became attracted in the books. I now go to six and seven book of Moses. I will go there. But going to that six and seven book of Moses, I will go and see some practices that will frighten me. I will leave it. And I will no longer like to touch the six and seven book of Moses. But this Napoleon book of faith, there were light books that it acts like Ngambe. They tell you things immediately that will happen in the future like that. And I started having attraction in reading these books. Il nous dit, bien évidemment, que vu le fait qu'il avait le désir de lire ses livres célèbres, il a commencé à lire les, sept et sept, les six et sept livres de Moïse au temps pour moi. Il y avait cette pratique qui l'effrayait et c'est comme cela qu'il a abandonné ces six et sept livres de Moïse. Il a commencé encore à lire les livres de foi de Napoléon. Il dit que cette pratique qui était dans ces livres de foi de Napoléon était ses désirs parce que ça avait les pratiques maraboutistes. But one day, my father, I don't know whether he was jealous because this man loved me so much. The man took me as his own, his own child. So one time my father came like that and said, this man has said that he wants to change my name. So my father snatched me and I came back now to our house. Life just came back the same. I started living in Bomaka village. One day like that, this is the beginning of my initiation in the spiritual world. One lady was passing as dead spirit. And this lady was a strange girl. I saw her in a desperate situation. I approached her. I said, do you need help? Can I help you? She said, yes. She told me that there is something she carries. That if this thing stays with her for more than an hour, it can destroy her system. She removed 5,000 francs and gave me that. I should buy her a bucket and show her somewhere that she can pass out to. I did as she said. She ate bread and drank a water. On that water, the name of that water was Powerhood. This lady went now to pass out to came and showed me things. Capsule, five capsule and some precious stones. B and H heroin. That was when she told me that these things you see like this, they are too expensive. This is riches. Bien évidemment, il nous dit que lorsque il s'est approché 
de cette femme. Cette femme lui a dit qu'elle avait besoin d'aide, qu'elle voulait faire avec les selles. Mais avant cela, il, cette femme lui a donné 5 000 francs pour qu'elle l'ait acheté en seau. Lorsqu'elle l'a acheté, cela est revenu. Cette femme lui a monté, c'était en outils, il y avait la pierre. Et cette femme lui a dit que ces choses contiennent beaucoup de richesses. We went out for market with her. We sell the first, we sell the second. There was much money. She called me now and said, oh, she cannot continue with me like this. These things are illegal. I need to have a spiritual force that we should go and consult a spiritualist in Limbe. That spiritualist will give us something that if, because these things, if they catch you with them, you can go to prison about 25 years imprisonment, that they are delicate. So she took me now to one spiritualist in Limbe, a witch doctor. This man was not really a witch doctor, but a mystician. Because in his temple, there was nothing like this witch doctor practices, but other types of spiritual things like that. So that was when this man saw me in his own side readings. He said, I have some things. Are you a herbalist? I said, no. Do you know herbs? I said, Yes, I used to know herbs. My grandfather, my grandmother, they used to show me herbs in dream. I know some herbs. Il dit que lorsque cette femme lui a montré ces choses, ils sont allés au marché, ils ont vendu ces choses, ils avaient tellement de l'argent, mais cette femme lui a dit que ces choses qu'ils sont en train de vendre sont des choses tellement illégales. Il fallait qu'ils aillent voir un marabout pour la consultation, pour avoir beaucoup de force spirituelle. Ils sont allés voir un marabout et lorsqu'ils sont arrivés chez ce marabout, ce marabout l'a regardé et lui a dit qu'il contient beaucoup de puissance en lui. This man now gave me a condition that He will open my eyes and I will become a great man. I will become like a king in the herbal world, in this physical world and the spiritual world. So he gave me certain condition that if I succeed to fulfill this condition, I will be like a king in the two worlds. The condition he gave me was that if I can succeed to have the right hand bone of a human being, and one white basin, one white fowl, and one egg. She's going to initiate me and give me a queen that will be guiding me and providing for me everything that I need and even treating me, all patients that will be coming on my way and my eyes will be open. Il nous dit que lorsqu'ils sont arrivés chez ce marabout, ce marabout lui a demandé s'il connaissait certains zèbres qu'il lui a montré. Il dit à ce marabout justement qu'il connaissait ces zèbres parce que dans ses rêves, son grand-père avait l'habitude de se le montrer ces herbes, et ce marabout lui a dit qu'il sera le leader dans le monde naturel et le monde spirituel. Il, si, seulement s'il si réussit à obéir, une condition qu'il va lui donner, qu'il vienne avec l'os de la main droite d'une personne, avec une poule blanche, avec un œuf, s'il parvient à venir avec toutes ces choses, il sera le leader dans ce monde spirituel et naturel. These things were like easy to me to have them because um, I used to be a fisherman. I used to walk beside the waters like that. I used to know many places where They just dig and bury people anyhow like that beside the water. And some of us, we used to contribute for the burial. So I saw it as something easy for me. I went and consulted some people. They gave me the first bone. I took the first bone there, but it was rejected. That this bone is the bone of a drunkard. They reject the bone. Justement, chez les spectateurs, il nous dit que c'était facile pour lui d'avoir l'os d'un humain parce qu'il est pêcheur de poissons et... Toujours au bord de la mer, on enterre constamment les gens et c'était facile pour lui d'avoir cet os. Lorsqu'il est, lorsqu est entré en possession d'un os, il est venu voir ce marabout. Ce marabout lui a dit qu'il ne pouvait pas prendre cet os parce que c'était l'os d'un ivrogne, d'un solar. In the other world, I was a king, married to a queen. This queen, her name was Matilda. I succeeded to have those bones, the bone, the right hand bone of a human being. I brought the bone, the successful one, the one that he tested and tried it and told me that this is the right bone. So he now took me to the sea and gave me the bath of penance with that fowl and break the egg on my head. And now he told me that you are now qualified. But what I will tell you is that you have to have sex with a mad woman before you will be able to embrace your queen. Alors, il nous dit que lorsqu'il a finalement eu l'os, que ce marabout vilait. Ce marabout l'a amené dans la rivière. Il a fait un lavage traditionnel. Il a, il a, il a lavé avec cette poule. Il a cassé l'œuf sur sa tête. Et, cette, et ce marabout lui a dit qu'il y avait une dernière condition qu'il devait accomplir. Il devait faire un rapport intime avec une femme folle avant d'être qualifié 
pour être marié à cette reine qui est dans l'autre côté du monde. We went there for a protection against our business, but now the man have taken me to another very deep something like that, and he gave me a water to drink, but this water was not really pure water. I drank the water. He told me that this one will give you bravery. Wherever you are going, hold this bottle of whiskey. Wherever you are going, hold this powder. Blow it. If you see any mad woman, anything that you say, that mad woman will hear you. If you have sex with a mad woman, you will just become a king, and I will give you a queen, and you will be the ruler of the kingdom in the underworld. Pour avoir ce rapport intime avec cette femme, cette, ce marabout lui a donné une eau dans une calabasse à bois. Il a bu, il lui a donné une poudre que si tu rencontres cette femme folle, il faut verser cette poudre sur sa face et elle va te suivre tout ce que tu vas lui dire. Cette folle va te suivre et c'est comme cela que tu vas avoir les rapports intimes avec cette folle. Lorsque tu vas accomplir cette condition, tu seras maintenant le roi et tu vas te donner un mariage à la reine qui est dans le monde souterrain. Finally, I succeeded. I approached a mad woman. She took me home. I had an affair with her. I came back to the man successfully. And now, he told me that I have seven days and gave me something like for purification, what I will be bathing with it. That immediately, in my sleep, a lady will approach me. Any lady who approaches me, I should know that that is my queen. And truly, about three o'clock in the morning, I was, in the afternoon, I was sleeping. A lady approached me. But not really as a queen, because her body was scabies in her body. She was like a patient. So when she approached me, I thought she has come to complain of her sickness. But she told me that I am your queen. Justement, il nous dit qu'après avoir respecté toutes les consignes que le marabout lui a données, il a finalement eu les rapports intimes avec cette folle. During this conversation, she left me and promised to come again. And the second time she visited me, she came now very powerfully with a red sport car, and she was now so fine. She took me out, we sat, and we were discussing. She was telling me that now that it, she will sleep with me today, and the next day she will take me to her well. So me too, I had no option. I was so happy to go with her. There was a coincidence. During this time, somebody saw me with this lady and she went now and told my wife behind that she has seen me somewhere with a lady. My wife too came now, not knowing that the lady that I'm dealing with is a spirit. She thought it's a physical woman. So she came now and attacked that woman, removed her shoe and was hitting that, that lady like that. This was in the physical. In the physical. When she attacked that lady, she hit her here. Yeah, blood came out. I saw it like that. I just took carry my son from her because my son by then was still three months old. I took my son from her. And this lady got vexed. She just left us and was going. She turned back and removed a powder from her back and blew it on my wife. He said, You will remain a skeleton and come and walk with me in my well. Alors, chers spectateurs, autant pour moi, proprement dit, lorsque cette première femme est venue le rencontrer pour avoir des rapports intimes avec lui pendant sa conversation, cette femme n'avait pas la posture d'une reine, comme le marabout l'avait dit, parce qu'elle avait la posture d'une femme qui est malade. Elle est partie et la deuxième fois, lorsqu'elle est revenue, elle était tellement agréable à lui. Et cette femme lui a dit qu'il faudrait d'abord qu'on sorte avant qu'on ait ce rapport intime. Lorsqu'ils sont sortis, ils sont allés dans un endroit. Il y avait une coïncidence, une femme qui le connaissait, l'a vu avec cette femme, il allait trahir à son épouse et son épouse est venue attaquer cette femme, ne sachant pas que c'était un esprit. Et lorsqu'il a attaqué cet esprit, cette femme, en abondance, il a retiré la poutre, il a versé sur la face de cette femme en lui disant que tu serais squelette dans mon monde le restant de ta vie. This action brought controversy between me and Matilda and we were disconnected. She left like that, afflicting my wife. Just after three days, my wife began to cry that Her right foot is like injection. Some things are choking her there like that. I did not take it serious. The next day she continued. So I said, maybe it's poison because that is how poison works. I went and took my anti-poison and cut and rubbed there. And I removed some money and gave to her. I said, I want to follow these people. They have called me somewhere to go and work. 
Because these people came and called me for a work of 120,000 francs. They gave me 70,000 for advance. I did not know that this point in my wife is deadly. So I followed these people and go, leaving my wife behind. They both leg. She remained behind. The both leg paralyzed. The both hands paralyzed. Her eyes blind. The ear locked. Her mouth locked. Two hands paralyzed. When my son, see three months old. Il nous dit que lorsque cette femme qui était esprit a versé la peau sur son épouse, lui a dit que tu seras squelette au restant de tes jours. Quelques temps après, un jour il était à la maison, sa femme a commencé à se plaindre des de mangeaisons sur son pays. Sa femme s'est paralysée, ses yeux se sont fermés, ses oreilles se sont fermées. This was the time I started facing the heat of this world. I now started following occult products from one occult shop to another because I know that Matilda was very strong and no medical drug can treat her. So I started going to Indian shop, occult store, buy one medicine to another. I bought medicines until of no avail. Il nous dit que vu la situation de son épouse, il a décidé de chercher les solutions partout. So I went and explained the situation to one professor. The professor told me that I will never succeed with Matilda except I take another higher queen than her. So I asked her, I asked him, how can I have another higher queen? He told me that there is horoscope. I bought the horoscope. He showed me many, many gods, many, many queens. He said, but this one queen, this queen like this is powerful. The queen that she show, he showed me was Diana. Vu la situation de son épouse, il allait voir un professeur à la recherche de solutions. Ce professeur lui a dit, la seule solution à la situation de son épouse est que tu dois chercher une reine qui a une puissance supérieure à l'autre reine. Ils vont chercher à travers un horoscope. Ils ont commencé à fouiller. Sur cet horoscope, ils sont tombés sur une reine. Et ce professeur lui a dit que c'est cette reine, cette déesse qui pourra guérir son épouse. And truly, Diana was very powerful. I did everything. I did whatsoever they say I should do in order to have Diana. I succeeded to do everything. They told me that I should just go to my house and build a shrine for myself. I take egg and connect it to a stream and create the connection from that stream to my house. That this lady now will be walking from that thread and meet me in the house. When they told me like that, I did the practice because they were, I had no option. I did the practice. And verily, she visited me. When she visited me, she told me that she has seen me and very brave. She loved me because I'm brave and bold. She has seen me all. But this night, she will sleep with me to taste my bravery. I slept with her. I just heard something licking me on my body. She was now giving me power to transform all, to change my physical appearance in this physical world so that I will be capable of living with her in the spiritual world because she loved to take me to the underwear. Bien évidemment, lorsque ils ont vu cette déesse Diana, ils se demandaient comment est-ce qu'ils pouvaient rentrer en possession avec cette déesse. On lui a donné une pratique qu'il devait accomplir, qu'il devait bâtir un temple satanique. Elle a reçu la visite de cette déesse. Why she, I heard something licking me on my body. As it was licking me like that, I was unconscious. I opened my eyes like that, I saw a heap of python. But she was licking me. That is, the python was licking my body from head to toe. I had no way even to shake because I died. Et il nous dit qu'au cours de cette pratique, lorsqu'il a eu ses rapports intimes avec cette femme et qu'on a changé son physique, il est tombé dans un état d'inconscience. Il y avait un gros piton qui le léchait tout le corps entier. That was my seat she was preparing in the underworld. I saw that python now live. She has removed her tongue from my body. I took it very normal. She carried me and said she is taking me now to my throne, to my seat. She took me to her wall. The legs of the chair was snake, was python. The hand of the chair was python. The back of the seat was python. It means that snake was a python seat. Bien évidemment, il nous dit que lorsqu'il était dans cet état d'inconscience, le python le lichait tout le corps. Le trône se siège dans le monde de l'eau. Lorsqu'ils sont arrivés là-bas, son siège, son trône, la chaise avait la forme d'un python et tout ce siège entier avait la forme d'un python. As I'm standing here like this, I know where all occult shops are. 
in this country, Cameroon. All the mystical shops. You know, in the occult shop, when you go there, you see all herbal books. You see the magic power of witchcraft. You see six and seven book of Moses. You see Napoleon book of faith. You see easy journey to other planets. But the book that I had with me as my own personal weapon was the magic power of witchcraft and the easy journey to other planets. In my astral study, it gave me enlightenment how to use the astral plane. As you see me like this, I, I was a pilot because I knew all the chakras in human body. I knew how to manifest in the chakras of the head, chakras of the eyes, chakras of the nose, chakras of the mouth, chakras of the armpit, chakras of the navel, chakras of the private and the anus. But I was really using both the chakras of the navel in my astral traveling. Bien évidemment, il nous dit que lorsqu'il est entré en possession de son trône, lorsqu'il a occupé son siège, il nous dit qu'il connaît tous les boutiques mystiques qui se trouvent ici au pays. Il dit que quelques temps après, il a commencé lui-même à lire tous ses livres, ses livres. Il nous dit qu'il maîtrise tous les aspects des astres. Il peut voyager. Il dit que sa pratique concernant les astres se trouve au niveau de son nombril. In search of spiritual authority and higher powers, cause me now to deal with Jerusalem, Japan and India. I was not paying transport there. I can spend just 1,000 francs and three candles. They will enable me to go to India, Japan, or Jerusalem. Toujours dans ses pratiques de routine, il nous dit qu'il avait la posture d'un pilote. Il pouvait voyager comme pilote à travers les astres. Il dit qu'il pouvait avoir certaines incantations, certaines pratiques qui faisaient avec la bougie. Il pouvait voyager partant d'ici pour aller en Inde, au Japon et partout pour faire ses œuvres sataniques. You don't need passport or visa. No, no sir. No visa. No sir. No passport. No sir. My passport is 1,025 and three candles. Ah. Il nous dit bien évidemment qu'il n'a pas besoin de passeport en commun de visa pour voyager, qu'il lui fallait du comment trois bougies pour voyager. So you don't go to the embassy. Sir, I have no time to go to the embassy. My embassy is my room. When I enter my room and close the door, I'm okay doing my chanting and tones because I was a transcender. I used to practice astral traveling. Il fait qu'il maîtrise les pratiques des astres. Il dit que chaque fois qu'il veut voyager, il entre dans sa chambre, c'est sa part d'ambassade. Il met ses bougies, il fait ses incantations, et c'est comme cela qu'il voyage parce qu'il maîtrise la pratique des astres. During this time was when I know that the air, the air is more busy than the physical world. In transport, the movement of the air is not only these airplanes that we are seeing. That was when I know that we have. This planet, this air that you are seeing like that, where the airplanes are passing, the airplanes are, are flying. There is another planet after this one where a master is living. A master who rule the underworld. I will want to explain my functions, my manifestations in the underworld. My queen has taken me to her world and she gave me a seat. She told me that as you are sitting there, you will give me seven strong men, seven strong men, and these men must be pastors. Alors, she must be what? Pastors. 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 Say. Alors, chez Tessitateur, il nous dit qu'après l'initiation, c'est ce que la reine l'amène dans le monde de l'eau, et qu'il ait eu à occuper son siège, son trône. Cette reine lui a dit, pour que tu puisses avoir beaucoup de puissance, tu dois m'amener sept hommes, et ces sept hommes doivent être des pasteurs. That is to tell you that. Et pour vous dire. There is no neutral ground. Il n'y a pas de terre neutre. Man is a free moral agent. L'homme est un agent moral libre. As a free moral agent, tant qu'agent moral libre, God has given you the ability. Je vous a donné la capacité. To choose who to yield to. Whoever you yield to becomes your master. This shows that there are two masters. Cela signifie qu'il y a deux maîtres. You cannot serve two masters with equal. Concentration. So you must leave one and face one. It's either you are for God avec Dieu, or you are for the devil. Ou tu es avec le diable. If you are for the devil, si tu es avec le diable, means you are to fight against 
the truth. Because the devil's mission is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Si tu avais le diable, c'est ainsi que tu dois commencer à lutter contre la vérité parce que sa mission, c'est de voler, tuer et détruire. Our battle is not flesh against flesh, but spirit against spirit. Notre bataille n'est pas chair contre la chair, mais esprit contre esprit. We combat demons. Nous combattons les démons. Principalities. Les principautés. With the word of God. Avec la parole de Dieu. Because we are on the side of God. Parce que nous sommes du côté du Seigneur. So those on the side of the devil qui sont du côté du diable will wage war against us. Engager une guerre contre nous. If God be for you, who can be against you? Si Dieu est pour toi, qui peut être contre toi? So I saw this task as deadly to me. She told me that if I succeed, I will be removed from where I am to the seat of my authority. She now gave me some powers. She gave me a wand. This power, they call it one. It's a heavy controlling force that the kings in the underworld, that is what they use as their rod. Just shot something like this. But there are powers inside. There are powders. It has seven different dimensions. Each dimension has its own powder. And any powder has its own function. You have the cross evil powder. You have the confusion powder. You have the destruction powder. The powders were there, different, different, in different manifestations. So the one he gave me to succeed the pastor was a cross evil powder. She took me now and was showing me the beauty of the underworld. This was when I saw the world. What my eyes have seen. She took me where. There are human parts, legs, heads, ears, eyes, hands, foot, even fingers and toes. She explained them to me that these are parts of people in this physical world that they have taken. She, she took me now to another, the second place after that was a place shining. Like water, but it's not really water, but shining with different, different colors. She told me that these are success. That is people's destiny. Il y avait une certaine partie dans l'eau qui voyait uniquement les parties du corps humain, la tête, les yeux. Il nous dit que ces parties du corps humain sont les corps dans le monde physique qu'ils ont amené dans le monde de l'eau. Il dit qu'il y avait une autre partie qui avait de l'eau, mais ce n'était pas de l'eau, mais ça avait différentes couleurs. Il nous dit que ces différentes couleurs étaient les destinées des gens qui prennent dans ce monde. She took me to the other department. This was a department where there are wedding garments. Nice, nice wedding garments. She told me that these are wedding garments for women that she has taken. Which, which means that if you are in this physical world, that you were to have a successful wedding. She has seized your wedding and tied it there. She took me to another place now where There are newborn babies. And these newborn babies, they were pounding them in a mortar. So she told me that this is to prepare charms. Which doctors? These people who have private hospitals. These people with private schools. These people with barbing saloon. These people who have pharmacy. But in the pharmacy, they have something like a clinic. I saw their own department. As you see me like this, this is my hair like this. I used to shave it by myself. Or if I haven't happened to go to somewhere that I happen to shave my hair in a saloon, immediately they shave my hair. I will, ask the, I will collect all my hairs. I will not leave them there. Because I saw what they are doing with human hairs in the underworld. You see all these successful barbing saloon guys. I'm not saying that all. Some. Some of them. You see, they have bought barbing saloon like that, but they are wonderfully rich because they do hair trading. They underwell. They overneat human hair. And the easiest source to have this human hair is to pass through these occult guys. I went to another department. This department is handkerchief. This is the most deadly weapon that is going on now around women. 
Men are women and women are suffering. They don't know what is the cause of their problem. But my experience in the underworld caused me to know why there is too much barrenness in the world today. Bien évidemment, chez ces spectateurs, il nous dit qu'il a été frappé d'étonnement lorsqu'on l'a mené voir tous ses cheveux humains. Il dit que lui-même, il n'a pas l'habitude de se coiffer chez les coiffeurs. Lorsqu'il se coiffe chez un coiffeur, il va finir par prendre ses cheveux et rentrer chez lui parce qu'on fait la, le trafic des cheveux dans le monde de l'eau. Il dit que quelques temps après, on l'a mené dans un autre compartiment. Il a vu les mouchoirs blancs. Il dit qu'il ne s'est pas étonné parce que c'est à cause de beaucoup de stérilité qu'il y a dans le monde aujourd'hui. You will buy this handkerchief packet like this, just 25 handkerchief. The packet is, is 200,000 francs. You happen to meet with any girl, they can convince you and give you even 50,000 francs just to have sex with you. Even 100,000 francs just to have sex with you because they know what they will benefit from you. After having sex with you, the only thing they do is to use that white handkerchief and wipe the private part after sex. When they wipe the private part like that, they will envelope it and send to the underwear. Just one time sex, you can have like one million francs. Because all the ex in that person has been sold. This person will now be suffering from stomach problems, stomach problems like that. And not knowing that it was that day that you sex with such a person. Bien évidemment, il nous dit qu'il était frappé d'étonnement parce que les gens achètent des mouchoirs blancs à 200 francs. Ils vont convaincre une fille, ils vont donner 50 000 pour avoir les rapports intimes avec cette fille. Après ces rapports intimes, ils vont essuyer la partie génitale de cette fille avec le mouchoir. Il va mettre dans ce monde de l'eau. C'est comme cela que les femmes aujourd'hui ont perdu les ovules. Il y a beaucoup de stérilité dans le monde aujourd'hui. It doesn't happen only to women. There are women too who do the same practices to men. You will see a man will always be suffering from not manly weakness, but low sperm count. The sperm is always watery. And this problem now is too much in the world. Please. The delicacy I saw in the world is when she took me now to meet a man. This man was like this. Very swift a man. And this man was like a spider. Spider-man. Et il nous dit davantage que ce n'est pas seulement les femmes qui sont les victimes, même les hommes sont les victimes. C'est la raison pour laquelle il y a beaucoup de faibles positions des spermatozoïdes aujourd'hui. This spider-man is the fastest shadow and star dragger, destiny dragger. This, this Spider-Man, he can walk more than 10,000 kilometers per second. His speed in the astral world is the, he is the man with the strongest and toughest speed. And if you see Spider, fear Spider. Spider is the highest form of destiny dracker. Spider can capture you Everywhere at any time. You can be walking on the highway road like this. Vehicles are passing. People are passing. But one spider web is there waiting only for you because they know you there in their mirror. They are waiting only for you to take your star. When this thing attacks you like that, you will not see it, but you will feel it that spider webs has affect you. Please, if such a thing is happening to you, please, Run to a man of God immediately. L'autre expérience qu'il a vécue, c'est qu'il a vu un homme araigné. Il dit que cet homme araigné, sa mission, c'est de capturer et saisir les destinées. Si tu es victime d'une pareille expérience, il faut chercher une église vivante. These people have private schools like this. Who are the members, agents in the underworld. You know, little children are innocent. Most of these things, they happen in the nursery and primary school. How do they do? They have this handkerchief. When the child has come, please, citizens of heaven, if you have your daughter, nursery or primary, before this child wants to leave the house and go to school, call this child. Cover this child with the blood of Jesus. Pray over her and cover this child with the blood of Jesus. Alors, chez les spectateurs, il nous dit qu'il y a aussi les propriétaires de plusieurs écoles privées qui font ces pratiques. Ils utilisent le mouchoir blanc sur les enfants de l'école primaire et la maternelle. Et c'est comme cela que notre frère conseille les parents que si vous avez un enfant qui est à l'école maternelle, à l'école primaire, avant qu'il ne parte ou avant qu'il ne parte à l'école, 
Il faut couvrir cet enfant avec le sang de Jésus-Christ. In this primary school children, they use this handkerchief when a child have entered. The teacher, whether male or female, he will say, oh, my daughter, come, come. What is that in your eyes? Is it conjunctivitis? Pretending to wipe the child's face. As she wipes like that, he puts it in the envelope and send. That child will just be like this. Even this child was intelligent. The child become somehow like that. That is destiny trackers. In the private hospitals, not only hospitals, there are chemists, there are pharmacists that Doctors, uh, nurses, they walk there like medical doctors too. They consult, they inject. The way they used to take your blood to the underwear is that when they inject you, they take cotton and rub where they have injected. That blood that is coming out like that. These are practical things that they are there for sale. The blood, they will place it in a bundle and tie it in a wrapper. They will pose them to the underwear. Please be careful in the type of private hospitals and these pharmacies that you go. Because there is no way the well is already dark. The only solution for us for safety is to always wake up early in the morning and cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus before going anywhere. Aussi, chers téléspectateurs, notre frère dit que les hôpitaux, les propriétaires d'hôpital privés, des pharmacies privées, font aussi la même pratique. Lorsqu'un patient vient se faire consulter, on va l'injecter avec une seringue, on va prendre son sang, on va essuyer avec du coton, on va mettre dans une bouteille, on va envoyer dans le monde de l'eau. Mais il conseille les citoyens du ciel, le peuple de Dieu, que la seule solution à ce problème, c'est de se couvrir avec le sang de Jésus-Christ chaque fois que nous sortons de notre maison. Il y a une branche là, ils appellent cette branche PND. Cette PND est pocket never dry. Guys are here outside, many. They are doing it. They are doing the business. You buy 10,000 francs for 200,000 francs. And if you buy it like that, they give you a medal. This medal, you have to put it in your left side pocket. And they give you that 10,000 francs. You can use 10,000 francs to be a tash. You can use 10,000 francs to buy a car. You can use 10,000 francs to build a house. How do they do? With this money magnet, with this medal in your pocket, they will give you that 10,000 francs and ask you that. Use this money in any store you want to buy. What I'm talking like this is what me too, I have practiced. They say use this 10,000 francs in any store you want to buy. But if you want to buy to a store, Don't buy for 10,000. You can buy for 9,595, 995, but don't buy for 10,000. If you buy for 10,000, the money will remain there. But if you can buy for 5,000 francs, they will give you change for 5,000 francs and give you the goods that you have buy. And that your 10,000 francs will come back to you. So for one day, you can have about 200,000 francs Depending on how fast you buy. Il a vécu dans le monde de l'eau, c'est qu'il y a un compartiment signifiant les poches qui ne doivent jamais être secs. Tu achètes quelque chose par 10 000 francs, mais à 5 000 ou 9 000, on te donne une différence, tes 10 000 francs vont te revenir et tu vas faire cela à longueur d'une journée. Avec ces 10 000 francs, tu peux acheter une voiture, tu peux construire une maison parce qu'au cours d'une journée, tu peux avoir 200 000. Si tu es très rapide, tu achètes constamment des choses dans une boutique. In my own personal experience, that I went there and this money remained. The money remained there because. This man was a prayerful man. This man was a child of God. Are you telling us that when you go to a child of God, it will not work? It will not work because that store is covered by the blood of Jesus. He nous dit que lorsqu'il va dans une boutique et un homme de prière fait vendre, une femme de prière fait vendre, ça ne doit pas œuvrer sur cet homme. After this department of money. She took me now to the site of music. That was when I came to understand that most musicians are homosexuals because I saw bafflement face to face. The God of music, she showed me, I saw all musicians that I knew 
This was when I know that music is demonized. If musicians are 100, about 75% are occultic. About 60% are homosexual. During the conver conversation with Diana and Baffleman, Baffleman is the god of music. He is always smiling with two horns. That was when I know that to succeed as a musician, you have to be a homosexual. Through their conversation, she showed me that, look at this man. This man came, we gave him stars, we did this to him, but he refused that they should not sex him through the endos. That's why he's here in prison. Et nous dit que lorsqu'il était dans le monde de l'eau avec la déesse Diana, ils sont allés, ils ont visité le compartiment de la musique avec le roi de la musique. Il a également vu la, la prison où on enfermait plusieurs musiciens qui ne voulaient pas succomber à ces pratiques d'avoir des rapports intimes à travers la musique. Ils étaient emprisonnés. She now take me now to the company of food. This food company. I marvel what I saw. Because these charms that they are using like this, these charms that they pound little children and powder them like that. What they are using, my tongue cannot tell. In short, the well, the air we breathe is evil. The only solution for somebody to live successful in this world is to receive Jesus Christ as your personal God and Savior and always cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. I have been a captive for 20 years today. And as you see, the character of Satan, so was my character. Because my duty was to go to and through, up and down, doing destructive works. I have never stayed in one place for one year. And no of my family members have ever known my destination. None of my children, none of my brother or sister, none of my friends have ever known that this is where this man is staying. Nobody has ever known my destination. Bien évidemment, chers spectateurs, il nous dit que pendant 20 ans, il a été une captive. She came now and showed me my well. She showed me, introduced me to a machine. This machine is called Strepto. But the Strepto have about many, many age, it ends with many, many age, about 20 age, strepto. This machine is my office. Anybody who enters the underwear in that strepto like that, I see him. She showed me in strepto. The well, our nation, town and villages are all ruled by idolatry. Toujours dans son expérience dans le monde de l'eau, on l'a mis dans un autre compartiment, on lui a donné une machine. Il nous dit que cette machine, c'est son bureau. Lorsque tu entres dans le monde de l'eau, il te voit à travers cette machine. This chapter is a machine that you see the world. Anything that is going on in the underworld, we see them. The one for good and the one for evil, we see them. As I'm here like this, I am here in the presence of God because I know where I am standing. I know I am standing on a solid and sure foundation. I will still continue to confess before the man of God because I betrayed him somewhere. In our traditional doctor's association, we had a group. This group is called Big Five. Even though as I'm talking now, Most of them are dead. And the type of operation that we were doing is different from these doctors, these doctors who are herbalists. Our operation was to combat witchcraft, hexcraft, and spellcraft. We were higher forces. Just like the Bible says, the evil shall slay the wicked. I reported you, I betrayed you somewhere that Because this is our force, this is our team. We did not like nobody to come who is not our subject. We knew that we were the principalities. Nobody can overshadow us. But sir, I want to tell you that before you were coming in this nation, Cameroon, we saw you. We knew you. So when 
we saw, we saw a force that is coming in this nation. Say, I want you to know, you, are, you were here. Your spirit was already working in this country five years before you could come. I am not talking I hear say, I see I'm say, I saw it. We did not succeed. We have sent forces to block him not to come. Because even this population you see here in this church like this, this is not a population that we saw. The population that we saw is more than this one. There was population. Hello? And this man was walking, treating people. Then water, as you see this water that is flowing, but that water was flowing from a stone. Treating people, using that water, then giving people certain drugs that they are not helped. So we were now doubting that. What type of man is this? Which type of treatment is this that he is doing? We did not understand that type of person because by then, Prophets were not known. Et il nous dit que lorsqu'ils ont vu le serviteur de Dieu, il partait de partout où il guérissait les gens. Ils étaient tellement frappés d'étonnement parce que bien avant, par le passé, ils ne connaissaient pas les prophètes. So we say we will not allow this person to come. If this person reach here, he will take all our men. We started placing weapons against him. We place weapons right around the four corners on, in the country. This was my first experience that I was sent in the mountain. We went to the mountain because of him, to stop him not to enter the country, Cameroon. So we did everything. We know that no one day, you know, enter this country. If you want to enter, either a plane crash, or if you enter any kind of thing, bad thing, if it happen for you, we are now at rest. Knowing we are now in tranquility, knowing that He can never enter the country. But we were surprised to see one day that there are calendars around the country. John Chi, John Chi, John Chi. Hello. That was when we left the underworld. I came now in our association of traditional doctors. We, the strong people, we decided now that we will come and taste his power. They gave me things to come here and meet him. You see these bones like this, all these bones like this. The day I was sent to come and see him for my first attempt, I was sent by our group to, to come and see him. To come and do what? To come for affliction. Afflict me? Yes. I had the one with me. And I was coming in bravery. I knew that you are in my ground. And you cannot succeed in my ground. Because I wasn't alone. Powers given to me from the underworld. Powers by traditional doctors association. You must be my subject. So on the way while I was coming, my colleague doctors, they were somewhere drinking, waiting for me to bring their result. So I went to my shrine in Moya, I took my bike. I was now coming for my mission. But immediately I left Moya, just from between Moya and Bumaka. Clean, shining road like that. One person was coming, approaching me. A pedestrian approaching me. And a bus was coming be behind me. I don't know how managed. It was not overtaking. As I was going, like, I don't know how many that boss hit me behind like this. I was screaming. Hello? This hand you see here like this. This place was gravel. Gravel entered here until it penetrates in my body. This gravel remained there and the whole this hand you see here like this was black. 
and swollen like this. So, during this time was the time I started hating traditional doctors because they have sent me for mission and now I have been afflicted. But no one come back to take care of me when I had this accident like this. Bien évidemment, chers spectateurs, il vient nous montrer sur l'image précédente les cicatrices, les blessures qu'il a eues pendant cet accident de circulation lorsqu'il voulait venir attaquer le serviteur de Dieu. Apôtre Jean dit que le gravier est entré dans son corps. Il dit que c'est depuis lors qu'il a commencé à détester les marabouts parce que lorsqu'il était affligé, aucun marabout, aucun de ses collègues marabouts l'ont assisté. I'm not here on my own. Je ne suis pas ici de moi-même. I'm here to fulfill the mission for which I am sent. Je suis ici pour accomplir la mission pour laquelle j'ai été envoyé. So I'm acting on his behalf. J'agis sur son nom. I'm accessible but untouchable. Je suis accessible mais intouchable. I did not go to the hospital because the people who sit say, ah, doctor too, now it don't be wrong with doctor. I was like hiding this affliction. I knew that I have just 21 days to fulfill my mission in the underworld. And now I was focusing that I have to be promoted. I need to be promoted. These native doctors, they have failed me. I was now angry with them. They are now I decided that I will rather serve more in the spiritual realm than the physical because I hated them. There were five of them, my own strong men. But when I was afflicted, nobody took care of me. I decided now to go back to fulfill the assignment of my queen. So you were five of you? We were five of us, sir. Five? Five of us. So where are the others? All of them are dead. I'm left alone. Four of them are dead. Four of them are dead, sir. You are the only one remaining. I'm the only one remaining. Sir, I know you are the cause, sir. How? Because we came for you and we were for you. Two of these doctors, they died, but a type of ritual death that I know you were the cause. How? Because of the power that you have brought in this, our world, Cameroon. Because of the power of Jesus Christ in you. Because in order for me to sit on my seat, seven pastors have to die. And then, the powers that I have seen from the man of God before us here, it caused me to be afraid to face pastors. <laughs> I went through the strepto. I told my queen that I'm now ready to sit on my throne. She gave me the powers. She gave me 21 days for me to fulfill my mission. Coming here, I was now looking for a church, a weak pastor that I can attack. I say, but let me go to these villages because the pastor in the city, they are strong. They may be strong. Let me go and start in this village, pastor. So I went to Bafia. When I went there with my powers, when you go there, in order for you to get this man of God, you have to frighten him emotionally. When she gets fr frightened, he will be afflicted. And you just go your way. He will remain behind and be affected. So when I entered a church like that, little did I know that men of God too, they can beat somebody with hand. <laughs> Hello. So you did not know men of God beat people with hand too. No, I know. You that thought it was just spiritual. I know that it's spiritual to spiritual. I did not know that they can use hand hand to beat somebody. Uh -huh, tell us what happened. So when I entered a church like that. I say, you, the pastor, now which day you don't bury him here? So I, I was well prepared. I did like this. This hand was full of smoke. Smoke was coming. I did like this. The other hand too, smoke was coming. I knew that they would be frightened. So I was entering the church now with smoke in my body. But instead, the Christians, they attacked me 
They kick me, they throw me on the floor, they will beat me. But they were beating me too with prayer. I bind the spirit in Jesus' name. I bind the spirit in Jesus' name. But they were beating me. So they remove my bango. They remove. I had a defensive belt in my waist. They remove it. They remove all my powers. Remove all my ring. Then they leave me alone like that. I was now going back powerless. I did not give up. I still had courage. I said, okay, that one has passed me. There is one pastor here in Moya. This pastor is a small man. He's a pastor that I know. I said, I know the way how to afflict him. So I came now in Moya. The way I entered the church, I went directly to the pastor and hated him with this, with that, because the group that was in the church that day, there were not many. So I say, today we church not there plenty like that. They can do me nothing. So <laughs> I entered the church like that and he said that thing on the pastor. I've already, doing that, I've already succeeded to rub it on his middle head like that. This Christian, when they just claim me again now on the ground, they were beating me again. <laughs> they seized my back. Toujours. <laughs> Alors, chers spectateurs, toujours dans cette. You have suffered in the hands of Satan. <laughs> Your freedom has come. Amen. Wow. This time, it was a pastor that helped to tell the Christian not to beat me. So the pastor intervened for me. I was badly angry. I knew that I would come for revenge. In Moya now, I saw. A, a, a poster. They were pinning poster all around Moya, say Crusade, Crusade. Living Gospel Church is hosting Crusade. And they invited pastors. I saw the pastors by name. I said, oh, I have a better chance now to capture all these pastors now in one bundle. <laughs> they have placed chairs. This thing happened in Moya Court area. The Crusade was in Moya Court. They have put chairs, and the crusade was to start at 7 o'clock in the night. So I went there at 3 o'clock and circled the surrounding of the crusade ground with that cross evil, tetragrammaton powder, confusion powder, and cross evil powder. I thought I have succeeded my mission. This was when I came to realize that pastors, they are the strongest force on earth. Because these things are very deadly that a human being, if I'm out for you, you cannot cross it and remain alive. But these people, they cross it like that. Nothing affected them. The crusade was still going on. So what do I do now? I went to my house. I put my masquerade. I put my garment. Physically. Physically. Then now, I took my dog. I was now going around Moya. I said, when I don't see that church for day, when I follow me, Nanyongo church that don't come for day, so. I went to the Ter. Ter is where these guys used to drug themselves with Mary Joanna. I went to three Ters in Moya. I bought these guys, their Mary Joanna. I bought them stone. I gave them whiskey. I told them to follow me. That we should go and destroy that crusade. I carried population in Moya more than 50 to 100 people. They were following me behind. And you were the masquerade? I was the masquerade. I came now well prepared. As I rubbed that thing like this again in my hand, everywhere in my body was smoke. I rubbed in my masquerade like that, there was smoke. Smoke without fire. I know that as I'm going, people were giving me road. As I'm walking, people were giving me road. So I know that even these men of God too, they will be frightened. But when I go there, the, the speaker, 
came before me and was binding me in prayers, binding me in prayers. I want to see suddenly they have attacked me again and they hit me on the ground. They removed my mouth spray. They were beating me. <laughs> Pastors disarm masquerade. They beat me and right up to date, I've never known where that masquerade have gone. But I never saw it. <laughs> so it was only the next day that I saw myself on the bed. So I went back to my well, whether they can still give me more power. But this time I was like discouraged. So when I went there, they have seen everything, all my affliction, everything, the torments that I have faced, my queen have seen. So she now told me that the way you have to use to succeed this pastor, I will give you another way. So she prepared confusion powders and other powders like that. We had a seminar now. She told me that don't attack these pastors anymore. Attack but their wives. And don't attack the wives physically. That was the last seminar we held in the underworld. Well. And this seminar was against pastor's wife. They were now instructing us how to spiritually attack pastor's wife. So that this pastor's wife will be like a thorn to their husband's flesh. Insulting the husband. Causing distractions. To the husband and if you are a pastor's son or daughter please be careful because now like this there's a target in the underworld the underworld have already seen that the pastors are strong so now they have brought in another strategy that the only way they can use to capture these pastors now is through their wives and to give spirit of stubbornness to their children when these children begin to torment the heart of the pastors, they will become weak and these pastors will easily be captured. As you see, our father in the Lord here before us, Apostle John Chi, he is like a commander. He is like a general in the spiritual world and the physical See. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this out of experience. Because the places that I have passed in the underworld and things that I see him manifesting here, I want to tell you here, I stand here with all strong conviction. Coming here, I knew that all my problems will be solved here in this <laughs> Because the legs that are in prison, as people are living in this physical world like this, if your leg have, have broken, if your leg have been cut in, or if your leg have something like a serious fracture, this leg is there in the spiritual world. People's eyes are there in the spiritual world. People's hands are there in the spiritual world. People's stomach are there in the spiritual world. Women, their babies, are there that has been confiscated in the spiritual world. I see the man of God manifesting. He praying for people. I see him healing just using two minutes, one minute, and restore somebody's leg immediately. That was when I say, hey, this man has power to take back from the world of God. I talk out of experience because I saw all these wedding garments. I want to tell you that if your marital life is shaking, maybe you want to marry and you go to this lady disappointment, you go to this lady disappointment, you go to this lady disappointment, please go come here in the Ark of God ministry. Point of correction. Go to a living ministry. There are many living ministries. This is not only the living ministry. <laughs> yeah, correct.
correct it, correct it. Many living ministries. Man of God, I want to say something. Man of God, in this nation, Cameroon, I will tell you, some of my people can bear me witness. Because me too, I've been afflicted in many ways. And me too, I've been working. I've been seeking for deliverance. But because of you, who I know, in this, our dispensation, you are the man sent in this country, Cameroon. You are seeing that I'm explaining like this. Things that has been confiscated in the world of darkness. The wedding garments that I saw, the broken legs that I saw, the eyes for people that I saw. Please, brethren, if you are afflicted in many cases, in any case, whether physical or spiritual, first run to a man of God. But the man of God that I know that I really know verily, verily is this act of God ministry. Apostle John G. You don't need anybody to tell you about Apostle John G. Go in your closet. Ask God who is Apostle John G. God will reveal him to you. Examine everything you hear, everything you see, everything you read in the light of God's word. Examine tout ce que tu vois, tout ce que tu lis, tout ce que tu entends sur la lumière de la parole de Dieu. Be determined to find out the truth. The truth will set you free. Sois déterminé à chercher la vérité et la vérité t'affranchira. To know the truth is to know Jesus Christ. Connaître la vérité, c'est connaître Jésus Christ. Amen. Amen. So find out the truth from God. Check la vérité venant de Dieu. There are many afflictions that people are suffering today that is caused by themselves through their own prayer. Men of God, I want to tell you an experience because I'm a transcendancer. I use the astral plane. I know the second heaven. I know the forces that are in the second heaven. There is one man in the second heaven. This man is tall from here like this and reached to that roof. This man is very a big man like this. This man is very strong and his mission up there is to give affliction to those who are praying, to the children of God who are praying because there in the second heavens, this king that is there. This king is having 10,000 demons, 10,000 angels, and all these demons are women. Why are they there? They are there, you see, as you see this light that is doing like this, that is how the prayer of the saints are going, are signaling in the second heaven. If you are praying here, I bind this demon, I bind this principality in Jesus' name. As you are binding it here, the way they take to know that a strong force is coming, is through that signal. And when they see that signal like that, they will come there to block it. And when they block it like that, they send affliction. So please, children of God, men of God, women of God, before you are praying, the first thing you have to do is to first of all, Seal yourself with the blood of Jesus. Because I couldn't succeed my mission in the underworld. I was not crowned. I did not sit in my throne. I was sent back that except I will fulfill my mission in this physical world before I can be crowned. So coming back to this world, as I came back to this physical world, nothing was moving. Among all my mates, when we were growing, I was the richest youth. You see, due to the life that I was living, up and down, to and fro, it's now, during my deliverance, 
is now that I have really seen that I was naked. You listen to that? It's now that he has realized himself that all what he was doing nothing to show. To know Jesus Christ is to know the truth. And to know Jesus Christ brings joy that nothing can destroy. The moment you embrace Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you become a winner. That is when you can begin to enjoy the full privilege of being part of God's family. That is when you can begin to enjoy a full and free life in Christ Jesus. Not a life of bondage, failure, échec, and the likes. Et bien Satan is very trickish. A beaucoup de ruse. When he gives you something te chose, that gives you apparent peace, une joie, une joie apparent. temporal peace with his right hand, he will take something from you that your life depends on with the left hand. Now, coming back to this physical world, it was when I came to realize that the first doctor I visited here in Moya, the man was afraid of me. Where are you from? He said, well, I'm just welcoming you because I know you have been a friend to me, a co-worker with me, but I know I am welcoming, welcoming my ghost. So I heard this word like this. I, I said, maybe something is wrong. I thought he was joking. So he was now talking only ghostful words to me, and he was afraid of me. So, but he heard the way that I was explaining thing to, things to him. That was when he told me that it is last month that we celebrated your death in King David Square Hotel, Moya. All the native doctors and cooperative associations of traditional medicines, they have celebrated your death. They have killed your goat. We have eaten goat on your head. I went to the oh. other doctor. As he saw me on the door like that, he went behind. I never saw him again. So I decided, I decided that I will not visit no doctor, nobody anymore. I decided to go and visit my wife. I went to, to her, my wife to escape, my children to run away from me. I said, then what is wrong? That was when I saw now my wife have already gotten married to another person. And I saw it, I was shocked. And with my children living with that person in the house, I was shocked. I decided to leave that environment. Does it mean your wife did not know your whereabouts? Yes. When I asked, it's now that I was asking her after I have come, she has come close to me. She told me that I should not blame her. They told me, they told her that I'm dead. That's why she, he knew, she knew that she has no husband and her children are fatherless. So I've gone that way now. I decided to have another woman. Having this another girl like this, that was when this spirit, this my wife, Diana, started visiting me now the more. It means she did not want me to have a woman. Anytime I have any woman, she will come there to afflict. So when I had this other girl like this, every day this girl is crying. That my wife, do you have a wife? Why is it that your wife is attacking me daily? And she is never feeling fine with me. I see her angry every day. She always tells me that a woman is visiting her physically and spiritually. And she told me that, why is it that I only love her in the daytime, but in the night, I love another person? So these things were to me as mysterious. Now that I was seeking deliverance for myself, I said, how will I go now to meet Apostle John Chi? Maybe if I go there, he will see me that I am the man who was against, coming against him to kill me. So my conscience was like, Worrying me not to go there. But because of this too much crying and things were really happening to me that I was like not living in the world. I decided one day to carry all my burdens. I say, even though I will go and kneel down before the man of God, Apostle John G, 
I will better confess all the evil things we have been planning against him. So I went now to the power room. The man of God prayed for me and I was delivered. Finalement, il était dans la chambre de puissance et le serviteur du Japon, John Chi, a prié pour lui dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit et c'est comme cela qu'il a reçu sa délivrance. My deliverance came with a confirmation because my deliverance was instant. My deliverance came with a confirmation in the sense that that same day that I went back home, I went and I slept with my wife. Immediately at five o'clock, In the morning, she woke up, she was praising God, she was praying with happiness. I say, ah, ah, I never see this kind of happiness before. I call her, I say, what is wrong? Maybe she is happy for my deliverance that I have gone to Apostle John Chi. She told me that, die at home and don't die. <laughs> she told me that, die at home and don't die. I asked That's her your wife. That my wife have died. Your spiritual wife. My spiritual wife have died. The wife that is always attacking her have died. I say, how many? How do you know that she has died? She said, one man came here with five other people. This man came and stood and command those people that kill that woman. Those people attacked that woman and beat her to death. And they were saying, kill her. That is a wicked woman. That is an evil woman. Kill her. And they kill the woman to death. So when I was coming here the next day, she said she has to follow me to go and see where I'm fully shopping. That she wants to see that man of God. The day she came here, she entered and said, now the, the same man this way, that this is the exact man that came to me. Where is she? Madame, come. Wow. So let's hear from her the dream she had. My name is Tangi Glory Amo. I come all the way from Banga Bakundu. The person standing beside me is my husband. For the years I've been with him, that spiritual woman, that queen was tormenting me. Anytime in my dream life, physically, she would always tell me that I would be the one to die. I always tell him, the woman that, no, I will not die in time, that you will be the one to die because I have Jesus. So when my husband sat in the house, he said, the only person that will get delivered to it is only Apostle John Shee that will get delivered to it because in the whole Cameroon, you have seen no man of God that can deliver him. The day that he told me that I want to come here to Ark of God ministry, So when they have the deliverance, they come by in the evening, we want to sleep, we pray. When I sleep in the night, I see one great man of God. I, I've never ever seen Apostle John Chi. When I see the man of God in that night, he hold a Bible. There are five wise men. In that era, there was only green grass. I saw a woman, that woman, the woman was healthy. She was coming towards me. She said, anytime that I have children, even a, a girl pregnant, they will carry the children to their kingdom and eat the children. I say in the name of Jesus, the word of God I've said in Exodus 22 verse 18, that so far not a wish to live. When I just say that, I see the man of God say, you push, you come and arrest this woman, kill the woman. They just arrest the woman, beat that hope and kill the woman. Then the man of God declared to those wise men that this woman, the dead body will not be thrown here. They will carry her far away because the woman is very destructive. When the, the day that we came here, when I sat up, up the, upstairs there, When you were preaching, I said, how? Oh, this is the man of God that I saw him in the dreamland. This is the man of God that they used to kill that evil woman. I just started to tell my husband, this is the man of God that I saw him. <laughs> so since then, I've been sleeping in the house, finding my husband, even the problem that we're having, anger, that, that woman affected me. At times, they don't want me to pray. Now we are fine. Even we have come here, everything is in order. Well, can we just take one or two questions? Citizens of heaven. Citizens of heaven. Um, uh, our dad here talk a lot, but uh, she didn't mention one thing. My name is uh, So Walters. Um, uh, I really want to ask my daddy about um, uh, the Odeishi stuff. I really want to know the impact of the people that came to you to collect those, um, uh, those things. 
how they are, how, how I mean, what, what is the impact in their life after? That's the after effect. The after effect. The after effect. Okay, these people that were coming to collect these charms from me, not only those charms, other idols are living now in people's houses that I'm the one that have kept them there and they are worshipping them as their protection. So, this, the, the after effect of these charms that is in these people is that they will never, if you have this charm in you, first of all, you will hardly, if accept the grace of God, you will always be suffering from disappointments in love, disappointments in friends, and loss of money. After collecting these charms, but I've pris ces charms, now the repercussion is disappointment, la répercussion, la déception, failure, l'échec, setback, la regression, sickness, les maladies. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay, lastly, just from the... My name is Mrs. Bison. I want to ask our brother here. He said, when the first spiritual wife came to him, she paralyzed the first wife. The wife was blind. And he came telling us again that for so many years, when he came back to the wife, he realized the wife had gotten married to another man. Where were you living? That nobody saw you, even your children could not recognize you, and only heard from some other persons that you died when you finally found them many years later. As you see me standing here like this, my life has been up and down, to and fro. I have never stayed in this physical world or lived in somewhere for more than three years. If I stay, my duty was to go to, from town to town. But I have left this world and I was in the underworld for eight years and seven months. You listen to that? Well, I've écouted. Eight years and seven months. Oui, dans sept mois. Man of God, please, now that I have bring these charms here, please, I want you to help me to burn them. I want you to help me to destroy them. I want them to be destroyed, man of God. Please. Oh, the, the charms. The charms. Yes. You brought them. Yes. Okay. So, can we see the charms? my deliverance i'm sleeping me very well i no more have any spiritual attack i'm sleeping well and i wake up well i have no problem my, my advice to the viewers around the world is that please the world is polluted with evil and the only solution to be saved in this world is to accept Jesus Christ as your personal God and Savior and always cover yourself with the blood of Jesus daily. While he was talking, I've been asking God, where will it start from here? Amen. And uh, 
The conclusion of the matter is that la conclusion de l'affaire c'est all these years he has spent working for the devil tous ces années qu'il a eu à travailler pour le diable he is going to reverse it he will use his years now to work for god amen yes yes man of god yes man of god that is my desire man of god ça serait désormais le réveil amen 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 God will give me the grace. Tu vas me donner la grâce. And uh, he's going to preach. Il doit prêcher the gospel. Amen, amen, man of God. Amen. That's my desire, man of God. He has been a material in the hands of Satan. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ has snatched him out of the kingdom of Satan. Now he will be a material in the hands of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Il a été un matériel dans la main de Satan, mais maintenant il sera un matériel dans la main de Jésus-Christ. Yes, when Jesus Christ enters your life, oui. he puts an end to your past and gives birth to your future. Lorsque Jésus-Christ entre dans ta vie, met fin à ton passé, donne naissance à ta vie. That is what deliverance is all about. C'est ça la Deliverance is all about taking you out of the satanic kingdom, the kingdom of killing, stealing and destruction into the kingdom of Jesus Christ, the kingdom of light. La délivrance the est... kingdom of life. The kingdom of peace. 